The Golden Globes are a bit overshadowed this morning by some of the humiliating details that are coming out about that hack attack at Sony Studios and how bad it really was. Now we're hearing from the studio co-chair Amy Pascal and the producer Scott Rudin and their email war slamming Angelina Jolie and President Obama. First, a little background for you. You might not know the name Scott Rudin, but you've certainly seen his movies. The Social Network, No Country for Old Men, Truman Show. He's the man everyone at the Academy Awards seems to be thanking. Thank you, Scott Rudin, for bringing us this uh, novel and giving us the opportunity to make the movie. And thank you to Scott Rudin, who brought me over here and somehow had the vision that a, a Jewish... Nigerian Brit could come over the could come over the pond and play one of America's most iconic parts. Scott Rudin. Scott Rudin. And there's the ruins. Scott Rudin. Scott Rudin, you fought so hard for this film to get it made. And America's best living film producer, Scott Rudin. Oh, you get the idea. With Rudin's emails, well, likely won't be earning him any thank yous this morning. One email saying Angelina Jolie's pet film project, Cleopatra, would make him the laughing stock of the industry and, quote, I'm not destroying my career over a minimally talented spoiled brat. In a separate email, Rudin and Pascal joke about President Obama and the movies he probably prefers. Rudin wrote, quote, I bet he likes Kevin Hart. Let's talk about that. I'm joined by Brian Stelter, CNN's media correspondent and host of Reliable Sources, and Michelle Turner, correspondent for Entertainment Tonight and CNN contributor. Welcome to both of you. Hi. Although morning, I'm dying guys. to start with, I'm dying to start with you, Michelle, because I want to know about this spoiled brat thing. But I'm going to start with the newsy portion of this with Brian Stelter. Um, this hack was really serious. It has been, and it continues to have these repercussions. It was about three weeks ago that some of Sony's upcoming films leaked onto the Internet, and, and we started to see some private information leaked out. But now all of these emails are doing much more damage because we are seeing the relationships that really exist in Hollywood, the good, the bad, but mostly the ugly. Yeah, I've never heard Angelina Jolie um, referred to as a spoiled brat, Michelle. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that was a new one. That one leaked out yesterday. Uh, we also saw some leak about Kevin Hart. They called him, and I hope I can say this on television, uh, a whore. It said, I'm not saying he's a whore, but he's a whore, saying that he was greedy. Uh, so it was it was very interesting. Then also you alluded to uh, kind of the racial off-color jokes that they were making about uh, President Obama. So this is really kind of starting to snowball here. And you know what? This group, the Guardians of Peace, when this all started, Carol, uh, several weeks ago, they promised that they had some really embarrassing information that they would leak, and they're delivering on their promise. This is embarrassing for Sony. And it's so painful for Sony. I mean, we're talking about private emails that these folks never thought would leak out. You know, I talk to people at Sony uh, privately. They won't speak about this on the record, but they say this could happen to any company. This could happen to any movie studio, and they obviously feel like they're being taken advantage of and exploited that these emails are now being talked about. I have to say, though, these are it's not as if the media companies uh, are hacking this information. We are not going in hacking this document. We are just sharing what's already now available in the public domain. This is a cyber attack, and now we're seeing the damage. And I'm sure Sony and you doesn't know want us to share, to share these, these emails with the public, but they're out there, and, and you can't help. Yeah. I mean, they're, out, they're all over the Internet, so yeah. we're not sharing anything new, right? Exactly. And you know what? There, it, this is actually having repercussions in other areas as well, because we know we've all kind of been focusing on the movie The Interview with Seth Rogen and James Franco that'll be out Christmas Day, wondering, you know, did North Korea have something to do with this because they don't like this movie and all this other conjecture? Well, tonight is their premiere in Los Angeles, and I will mm. tell you, there will be no broadcast outlets there tonight.